I'm Justin Bruce. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Coaster Cycles and we build bikes here in Missoula, Montana. The Coaster really focuses on bikes for business. So everything we do is, um, it is we're helping businesses to, to be more uh, environmentally friendly, but also to expand their business reach. A lot of the things for us with uh, our innovation initiatives, there's really three main points and, and main focuses of our company. Um, first being that uh, our speed to market on new products. Because we're based in Montana or in the U.S. in general, we can typically work with clients and, and prototype and test a new product um, in, uh, faster than most other competitors in, in the market. Um, additionally, uh, our experience, so we're kind of creating this new market with our clients. And so our experience uh, in the past, but also just kind of working with them to develop new markets and new products for that uh, is pretty phenomenal and, and fun to do. And then the third piece being that we build solutions. So our clients come to us with a problem and, and with an idea on how to solve it. And we work with them to come up with a market viable solution. So it's a really exciting piece. My name is George Gaines. I'm the founder and owner of Chilton Skis in Missoula, Montana. Chilton handcrafts both local Montana wood and space grade composites into the raddest, hardest charging, and most environmentally sustainable skis on the mountain. We built the cores from our first production run of skis from logs that we had salvaged from the urban canopies of Missoula. Uh, a lot of that wood has a lot of the same desirable strength to weight ratios and other physical properties as the species that the ski industry relies on primarily, but which are farmed intensively on tree plantations on the eastern seaboard. Our ski top sheet veneers are made from beetle kill lodgepole pine that we harvest and process ourselves from uh, the forests of western Montana. Chilton Skis is fundamentally a Missoula company. I can't envision headquartering Chilton Skis anywhere else. I'm Simon Gross, CEO of Converting Equipment International. And I'm Curtis McQuaid. I'm the Chief Operating Officer here with Converting equipment. We're in Columbia Falls looking at the beautiful mountains to our north of uh, Whitefish. Well, CEI, we manufacture equipment for the label industry. So we make machines that inspect labels, we make machines that now make labels, we make machines that finish labels. We're customer driven. We look to do what it's going to be the most beneficial to them. Some of the equipment that we've gotten into is not because we were necessarily looking at it, it was because the customer said, you guys are really good at this, can you make me that? And so we looked around and decided, well, let's make that. That's part of the reason why we're here. If we would have stayed with what our core competency was, we didn't need this big of a building. But when we expanded into some much larger equipment, we needed a much larger building and much larger workforce and all that goes with it. So yeah, our, our potential is there. I'm Casey Sheehan, I'm the CEO of Sims Fishing Products. I'm happy to be with you here today to talk about the Sims brand and how we're doing in the marketplace and why we're so happy to be here in the state of Montana. Really the first big innovation for Sims was the waterproof breathable Gore-Tex wader. No one could believe that you could have a wader that would not only keep you dry, but also allow perspiration from your body to leave the fabric of the wader. That was probably the biggest breakthrough in fishing gear technology, maybe of all time. And that was developed here at Sims the year after Casey Walsh bought the company. He, he basically collaborated 
uh, with the folks at WL Gore to develop a, a fabric and a laminate that could be made into a wader. And I would say uh, there's been many other innovations like that, but innovation is really solving a problem that a customer has in a way that he hasn't yet seen. And so by building Gore-Tex waders, it really became the foundational point of differentiation for the Sims brand and has allowed us to do a lot of other things, branching out into, into rainwear, into cold weather insulation, into sportswear, into women's apparel, into footwear of all kinds, not just wading boots, but wading sandals and more lifestyle footwear. It opens the door when you think about now being able, having permission because of your innovative core business to expand into a uh, product that gets you from the boat to the bar into more of a, where you take your passion to the rest of, the, rest of your life, where you may not have a fishing rod in your hand necessarily, but you still want to be connected to the sport, to the brand that has given you so much joy. Welcome to PFL in Livingston, Montana. I'm Andrew Field, founder of the company, and I still run it today along with about 400 of my best friends. We hang out in the marketing technology community and the biggest frustration modern marketers have is dramatically low and sinking response rates to email and to display ads. When was the last time really that you clicked on a display ad that popped up in front of you while you're reading the news or reading the weather or the sports or something like that? So those things are having very low effectiveness these days and we thought is there a way that we can help marketers in a scalable manner cut through that digital clutter, get noticed and drive results. We have a few differentiators at PFL. On the e-commerce print side, 75% of what we do has a very high element of custom to it. So it's not just a box of brochures, but it's brochures with a die cut or a foil stamp, matched up with something else, inserted in an envelope and mailed. So we do a lot of custom stuff. We have very broad capabilities in our finishing area. We have served over 100,000 customers nationwide, and we have some very cool, very interesting, and very nice customers, and over the years, we build great relationships. If I could give a budding Montana entrepreneur one piece of advice, it would be don't give up. There's gonna be hard days, there's gonna be times when you go to bed at night saying what in the world is going on here, or I don't see where I'm going and how I can make this happen. Just don't give up. <laughs>